for our for our um, parks part of our department, we've been doing our general maintenance and everything like that. But above and beyond the general maintenance to the buildings and the fields and stuff, our parks crew, with the help of the USS Hampton and Mike Edgar, um, they built four sets of bleachers for the parks. Huge bleachers. They're really nice. And um, they're going to look great in the parks next summer. They also built six picnic tables. They've taken down all the Christmas decorations except for the snowflakes will be coming down this Thursday. And uh, I don't know if you've seen our office lately, but it's a disaster right now because we just got all new, brand new furniture to replace the stuff that was left over from when this was a bank. So right now our office is under construction, but the parks guys have been putting together all of our furniture for us. So. Doing Is a great job at it. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, I'd like to get some of that stuff out of my office so I could actually walk to my desk. Um, in the parking lots, Vic DeMarco and his crew did a great job again this year. Um, it's nothing really to report on that right now, except that we are taking, um, we'll be advertising those positions soon, but we're taking applications now. And last year we made about five hundred thousand dollars in the lot, so we did. We had a great sum, great year, even though the summer had was very weird weather this past summer. In the recreational programs, um, we're gearing up for all of our summer activities. Believe it or not, already um, we had one of our best camp years last year, and our K through two sports program is underway right now. Our Senior Citizen Club had a great holiday luncheon um, just before Christmas, the turkey dinner that we um, had with Wilbur's and the um, St. James Lodge. We had a New York City Day <coughs> trip on November 19th. We have, this is one I wanted to talk about, we've set up a trip to Disney on Ice, uh, Dream Big, starring Tinkerbell, telling the Disney tales on ice. So that trip is this Friday night, January 26th at... Um, SNHU Arena in Manchester, and we still have tickets for that if people are interested. Men's basketball has started, and it's running through the school year. We've got ongoing programs for the seniors right now that we're, we're taking registration for or drop-in, which is bingo, bone builders, bridge, Hampton walkers, the yoga classes that we have going, and also the Senior Citizen Club. Uh, our local league, which is our high school rec hoop, is up and running. We've implemented all of our holiday events already, the tree lighting, the Christmas parade, everything went off great this year. And we also had our tour of lights that was full, at all the trips that we took around to see the lights in town. And then on Christmas vacation, we had um, a children's camp, which was called Exhibits on the Go, which included Christmas rocks and Six Bricks Lego, which was super fun, and it's kind of a, um, sort of a side STEM type program. So. We're hoping to get more children for that in the next few months as new programs arise in the same category. We also had a New England Patriots trip this year, which hopefully we'll be able to get another one this year coming up. We've set up two trips to the Boston Flower and Sh Garden Show in March, March 14th and 15th. We've set up our first trip to the Red Sox. This trip is at Yankee Stadium against the Yankees on Saturday, June 30th. We've set up a Kids in Action class at Marston School, Age Children, which includes class themes, gym games, art activities, etc. And we have three sessions of that. We also set up a Creative Kids Art and Play class for grades K through 2, and we have uh, three sessions of that. We've set up some yoga classes for adults through Bar Fitness, which we ran in October and November, and we have now set up another for beginners that started on January 10th, so we'll continue with that. And we also started yoga and nutrition class with Bar Fitness. That also started January, that's January 19th. And last but not least, we've set up a trip to Pickety Place in Mason, New Hampshire for April 11th. And this is a five-course gourmet luncheon trip with an entree portion to choose from of either shaved ribeye or borsen crostini or ratatouille over fettuccine. That is all I have for tonight. We've been very busy, and we've got a lot more to set up. So next time I come in to talk to you, I'm sure I'll have a lot more stuff to tell you. Questions from the board? Thanks for the report. And thanks for all you do for the... Uh, Children and the seniors of the town. Thank you. Good report. A lot doing, go, as you said, a lot going on with the seniors, which is really good, yep. especially this time of year. A lot of them have a hard time getting out, so. I know. Yeah. So, Rick, how does it go Rick. at Piketty Place? Does that usually sell out, or do you get a lot of 
<laughs> what is Piketty Place? Yeah. It's a it's a little, nice little restaurant that's. Uh, what, what's it's the a store? restaurant and herb farm. Yeah. And they um, have luncheons there, and they use all herbs from their own. But garden. there's a famous story that started from there. What yeah. is it? It's it's not Little Red Riding Hood, but it's something, it's something like that. Something similar to that. Yeah, yeah you're that right. has a, and it has a lot of history, and it's a nice yeah. little place. It's always surprised me that it's kept its level of success after all these years. Well, their menus are, like every month they have a different menu that you can choose one or two options, and Renee did a really good job choosing this one because I think it can't be beat, but it's, this is always a good trip. People always like going there for yeah. a special event. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've done another good job, but what about your dog? Why don't you get to see your dog? I was on vacation last week, so he oh. was being babysat. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to see mine either, and I didn't like it, but no. dogs are important. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Mr. Bean. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, great job. Thank you. And uh, do you have a dancing program in the town? Dancing? Yeah, for like different dance. Yeah, there was a woman at the Galley Hatch that, that uh, worked there, and she came up to me, and she's a dance instructor. And I told her to get in touch with you. She certainly should, because we have had, over the years, we've had, um, we had someone that taught belly dancing, we had someone that did hula, uh, Hawaiian dancing. And we also used to have line dancing, um, but we haven't had any of those in quite a while. So yeah, I, I think I, I forget it, but I will, I will inquire and, have, and and told her to link up with you. And then in, in, in the recreation department, and uh, Superintendent Murphy has been uh, so excellent in that new project about the, the community orientation. Do you envision using some of that new uh, junior high space for some of your activities? Absolutely, I was on that committee. Well, it's wonderful. Can you share? I know you've got to get back to your dog, but just uh, <laughs> that's okay. Sh share a little bit about that. What, what that's going to present to the town of Hampton? Well, I'm hopefully hopefully <coughs> that if if it comes out the way that we are all hoping that it would, there'll be a lock off so that we'll be able to use that facility at the same time that school is in session. So we'll be able to um, have activities with the seniors is who I'm really focused on, but it will be for everybody, but the seniors especially will have a place to go. And, you know, because the library has been great to us over all these years, but that facility is very small. And a lot, it's not handicap accessible, so it's hard to um, get everybody involved that needs, that would like to be involved. So I'm, I'm Visioning that we'll have a place where we can store some of our stuff, where we can keep some stuff set up, tables set up, that the seniors will be able to come and go, and they'll have an easy parking area right there too as well. Wonderful. Thank you, Director. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I noticed that the, um, when I was on my cruise <coughs> that that line dancing is still very popular. People like it, both older people <coughs> and young people. Yeah, yeah. So it's good exercise um, for older people. I think people. the reason that we didn't have line by lane dancing stop was our instructor moved away and we couldn't find a new instructor at the time so were you good at it rick no god trust <laughs> me. it's the same song it's I just run changed the name way. a couple of times the but you should have saw how people jump up for it it's amazing thank you all right do a good Thanks. job good night